Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing wonderful. In this video, I am going to explain another technical roadmap for an ABABER towards S4 HANA. So we have seen already one road, uh, technical roadmap once we started on CDS and Oracle servers. So that is at the time of uh, ABABER, we want to just switch to HANA. So what are the uh, areas he has to cover? Uh, so those informations are uh, present in that particular video. So now we had another chance uh, of, I'm not saying changing, exploring our uh, steps to get into HANA. So now the terminologies you can see, BTP, BOPF, uh, RAP, CAP model, programming model. So, I want to give a high level understanding of these terminologies and depends on your business need or depends on your experience and interest, you can decide which area you have to choose and uh, you can start exploring that depends on your need. So that is the idea of overall idea of this video. So this is not an introduction to any of the terminologies which I have explained. So just a high level. And uh, we'll see one by one differently in a, another playlist, okay? Because I, I have received some request, can you explain this area, which one you have to go? So that is the reason I thought, okay, just give a small video about this areas, okay? So let's get into the slide. And uh, if you are in a SAP or any application or any product, whenever the product is evolved with a new set of possibilities as a developer, we have to explore this thing. So that is the thing we are going to do it over here. And wherever you are, the basic idea is you have to get the data and you have to feed it to the transaction or report. Technically in SAP, we call this transaction or a report. Okay. So, uh, that is very basic. It may be you can include a curd operation also. It's a two-way communication. So it can maybe a get or update or delete, whatever it is. The basis, get the information uh, from the data, I'm sorry, from the database table, manipulate it and feed it to the, uh, wherever the request comes. Okay. So initially, uh, for that process, we are uh, using ABAP and object-oriented ABAP. So this is a place where most of the changes or we have addressed and we started learning as well. So this is very basic thing which we have used and slowly the database is getting changed to HANA, HANA DB. So then they introduced a layer called ABAB and HANA. So because we, there is a new concept called push to code down. So most of the code is trying to execute in the database layer. So for that, they prefer to go with the new syntax. So those collections of new syntax are gathered and they call it as ABAP and HANA. So we just started learning ABAP and HANA and put it in the our program. So then it automatically goes and get the most of the data from database itself. So after that, if required, we do the data manipulation in the application layer also. Okay. And then the request is coming from UI application, meaning the data to be feed to an UI level, not to a normal transaction or report. So apart from your GUI, you have to pass the data to a, a UI application. So it may be a Fiori or a normal UI application or any other portal. In that scenario, apart from this, we need to understand the layer called Serious Views and Audita Servers. So Serious Views is basically, uh, it, it, it go and get the data and the Audita Servers is, is creating a connection between your uh, backend and your frontend. And uh, whenever there is a chance, we try to use ABAP and HANA also, probably in our DPC extension class, so that also to be used. Okay. So this is the another evaluation in our area, in our learning path. And then, um, whenever there is a release, after some days, after some years, after it used by many customers or many developers, then probably the company decides, okay, this is going in a good way, but it needs some more uh, level to be increased or it to be reached at some more level. So it will be helpful for the developer as well as the business. Okay. In that is the case, the SAV company decided, okay, let's have, let's keep the serious views and core data service under a framework. Okay. So that will be easy. So they thought in that way and they introduced BOPF. 
So BOPF is a framework which combines CDS views and Audata servers. So along with that, it, it creates, it will take care of the binding and service creations and everything. Okay. So and mostly this works the entire functionality as a business object concept. So that is called BOPF. So BOPF is just a framework. So if you know CDS and views and Audata service functionality, then learning a BOPF is it's very simple. And then, so once we are in, a, in this level, okay, ABAP, ABAP, and BOPF, then company find or uh, they think, okay, there are some functionalities that is not uh, is feasible in the BOPF. So we have to come up with a new thought. So then they introduced the two terminologies, wrap and cap. So ABAP, RESTful Application Programming, the another one is cloud application program. You know that is a new process is introduced that always take care of the previous one or the existing one uh, missing areas, right? So it's it's likely overrides the BOPF with AP. Okay, so how the BOPF overrides CDS and Audit? It's not override; it's a framework. They just bring. Uh, they just brought CDS views and Audit service into a, a framework called BOPF and they might feel okay these are missing these can be added uh, for a, a good way of code for a long run okay it can be used in many places kind of so then they introduce a concept called RAP and CAP so as an ABAPer so you have a good experience in ABAP you have to choose an RAP because it's 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 a ABAP RESTful application program. But if you're good in Java, if you're good in JS level, then you can choose CAP Cloud Application Programming. So we'll see uh, in a different place about RAP as well as CAP. So now the understanding is so how I had to go ABAP. I'm good in ABAP and HANA. I'm good in CDS and Auditor Service. Just learn what is BOP, whether they are using it or not. Just learn it. Okay, you may have get a chance to understand how this framework works what is the good and what is what is can be uh, improved okay so those are coming in a BOPF and then you can go and just select REP so it's about RESTful about application programming because I'm good with about okay and uh, CAP is nothing but cloud application programming if you have an interest and knowledge in Java and JS Java sorry dot JS or JavaScript so please go with CAP as well okay so this is the evaluation happened till now, but in future it may extend also. So as a developer, we have to be up to date at least to understand what is this, uh, what is my portion or what is my uh, contribution in this area. Okay, so always be updated in these areas, at least know what is this. And uh, here one small uh, addition to RAP to better understanding is how the RAP replace BOPFS with the help of behavior definitions. Okay, these are terminologies we'll see very detailed later. So CDS O data plus behavior definitions, and if there is a definition, it is always an implementation also, like class and methods. So method is defined first and the method to be implemented later. The same thing here, behavior definition, behavior implementation also to be done to just uh, have one full uh, application with the help of CDS and Audata. So that is going to be under RAP. And uh, these are the places where we are writing the code or we are writing the functionalities based on the business need. And another terminology is nothing but BTP, Business Technology Platform. So it's a platform to uh, make use of or you, you can able to create your applications and able to do integrations integration between two different modules and data analytics you can do it and AI. so this is a platform where you can perform all these things okay so that is nothing but btp so we have to understand about btp it's the same like how we learned um what is it, uh, web id it's a place where you can start developing things so same thing and you have bass and now it is btp so it's it's it 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 covers most of the places btp it covers all these areas under one uh, platform is nothing but BTP. Okay, so this is a platform you just make use of it. We'll see quite uh, interesting things in the following videos. Okay, so I uh, hope this gives just an idea about what is BTP, what is BOPF, and what is RAP and CAP.
and based on my experience and interest or the, my business needs, I can go with whether it's a BOPF or a RAP or CAP. Okay, so I hope this might give some idea about these terminologies. So just play around, just see some other videos, or just go to SAP ticket videos. You will get more and more details. Okay, um, thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye. Anything else? No.